They call me Sticks. They call me Nini Lee. Carbon copy! And here's our presentation. I'm making. And I'm making. Indigeneity. In music. What is indigeneity? Is it for us to say? The way it's been defined has been subject to change. In Columbus's times, it was mostly through race. But Della Cadena thinks on something else it's based. The intellectual walls of Cusco were defying the Euros, equated race as cultural. Since it could change, you know. Race is a construct subject to flux. But those who came up with the new characteristics were mostly Cusco males making the decisions. Enter the mestizo, whose descent is mixed. Not fully Indian, but not fully Spanish. Indian then had indicated those who were not educated. Indigenous people without means to class Mobility. But more importantly, racists and had seen Indian peoples not possessing dignity is in the etymology is inherently derogatory. See Hugo Blanco. Mestizos then were literate while claiming indigenous heritage. So de Indianization meant demanding some respect but rising through the hierarchy meant adopting wider aspects. But make no mistake, these categories still discriminate. Delicadina, page two. So if indigeneity in all its branching forms is categorized through cultural norms, then let's look to our favorite mode of expression and see how Peruvian music may teach us a lesson Let's draw on Canapa's analysis, on Lima's Anian music, outlining two types of genres, the Huayno and the Chicha. Huayno is a style that is regional, and though it was more traditional, it gave power to migrant women who resisted male domination. Canipa, page 234. Chicha on the other hand, was not as tied to the land. A fusion of Huayano and alternate styles made from people coming from miles and miles. Evolving while moving between Lima and the Andes, but hybridity is signified as the bad copy. Hegemonic discourse called Chicha or Chafo and the label sought to displace the new Lemenos. Though Andean heritage was claimed through its lyrics, it was associated with lower class proletariats. This seems to be in contrast to the viewpoints on fusion. Della Cadena notes from Cusco's categorization. We're having colonial traits meant a higher class. It seemed not the case for Lima's Chica musicians, alas. But let us sink and draw from our own encounters since we went to both cities and actually heard. Does it seem more like De La Cadena or Canipa, or does it not fall under either category? With the vendors of Pisac and the townsfolk of Amaru, we could hear many musicians playing the flute. The music seemed less colonial with a pentatonic scale, so catchy you could dance without fail. Without fail! Cool. Poor in money, but rich, rich in culture. culture, says the community. It seems to align with Dilla Kadita's categorization of indigeneity. The rural nature makes the music less mestizo, hence it seems to fall neatly in the trope. The trope. Let's now think back 
to the noche de folklore. Where cultural dances took to the floor, vibrant and majestic, no moment of silence, yet so deeply catered to an international audience. Audience. This again seems to agree with the Lacadina of mestizo being upper classers in Lima. In Lima. Promoting the hegemonic ideals of the West. High heels and false lashes and miscultural dress. Cultural dress! Mm -hmm. But in our experience, some musicians can't be evaluated through De La Cadena's stance. Some traits say they can be mestizos, but others don't. So we might need another discourse on mestizos to know. Culture and class might not be the defining goat. Defining goat! Let's talk about the music of Inti Raimi. We'll share the nuances with our spectacular Raimi. While the closest seats were occupied by the tourists, the performances seemed to be to us, not for us. Inti Raimi seems to strive for traditional authenticity, whereas mestizos seem to try to engage with modernity. But is intention more important than making indigeneity? since we could say it's mestizo to involve state military. The music itself was all in Quechua. You ain't got nothing like this in Canada. I'm from Canada, you ain't. But its music were placed more of a marker of indigeneity. Here we highlight complexities surrounding identity. Now onto the corpus. Christie Festival, you would think it's mestizo from its appeal to the colonial, but from Spain to the US, there's, there's a shift in the hegemony. Is mestizo still connected to Christianity? <laughs> Since a parade attracts all classes of people flocking to the streets and floors like seagulls, no! Even if Christianity still dominates as a power, the fact that even rural people get flower showers forces us to reconsider mestizoness at this hour. Mm. Moving on to our favorite Q-pop star, Lennon. He uses that form for language and cultural preservation and expression. A true example of modern syncretisms. Of this, we have like nor criticisms. Though he appeals to modernity and may have a privileged start, it's so innovative purely at its heart. So Misty So is too simple of a cast for his part. Now it's time to wrap up our wrap. I hope our video gave you <laughs> a good laugh. <laughs> a good laugh. With the framework provided in Indigenous Mestizos, we found accuracies and limitations because that's how it goes. That's how it goes! Mm. <laughs> After all, markers of race are arbitrary. Hopefully, through music, you did a good job demonstrating. Here's to making and unmaking indigeneity. <laughs> what is indigeneity? <laughs> 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 I'm gonna be <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Don't worry, you guys do your thing, you guys do your thing. Are you sure? You, uh, do you want to enjoy this? Okay. <laughs> do you want me to do it? You want a bar? <laughs> you want a bar? Yeah. Oh, I can do ad libs. This is so nice. Like, like when you go, um, encounters, I'll go, encounters. <gasps> and when you go, yeah. With the vendors of PSAC and the townsfolk of Amaru. Amaru. We could hear. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it doesn't work at the point. No, no. With the vendors of PSAC. And the townsfolk of Amaru. Amaru. <laughs> With the vendors of PSAC and the townsfolk of Amaru. <laughs> With the vendors of PSAC and the townsfolk of Amaru. Amaru. <laughs>
poor in money, but rich, rich in culture. <laughs> okay, another take. Poor in money, but rich in culture. culture. Okay, one more, one more, one more. This again seems to agree with the idea of Mr. being overclassed in Lima. You can't laugh, Jiggy. Go. Let's talk about the music of Inti Rhymey. We'll share the nuances with our spectacular Rhymey. While they closet. It's not closeted, it is the closest. <laughs> This is the last half hour of Pride. Happy, Happy Pride, Pride to the LGBTQIA2 plus community. I can't believe I remembered that all. Yeah. <laughs> now, Wait, sorry. From Spain to the US, there's a shift in the hegemony. Hegemony. Flocking through the streets and floors like seagulls. Go! <laughs> no, guys, you can't anticipate it, okay? Just, just let it happen. Let it happen. <laughs> Eagles. Oh. Even if Christianity still dominates as a power. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. That wasn't a good car, anyways. Okay. <laughs> and floors like seagulls. Go! Even if Christianity still dominates as a power. <laughs> shit. Okay, sorry. I was like not anticipating That's this one. Though he appealed. I like it. You got it. Now it's time to wrap up our rap. I hope our video gave you a good laugh with the framework provided. Now it's time to wrap up our rap. I hope our video. <laughs> now it's time to wrap up our rap. <laughs> now it's time to wrap up our rap. I hope our video gave you a good laugh. <laughs> with the, with the Wait, I don't know the words. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, 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 wait,